somewhere else. All right. All right. Look out of there. On to here. How's everybody doing? This is the last Tech Tuesday before Christmas. So I got my hat on. It's a little wobbly. Uh, I'm seeing oh, hats coming on. And More hats. Here. Yeah, let's fill it up. Fill it up with Christmas. Okay. Um, Wait, I'm going to change my name to Wendy's Elf. <laughs> Elf is this. Okay, that is perfect. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of other things going on right now, so I appreciate you guys <laughs> being here. Uh, that's awesome. Oh my God, the dog has a hat. I should I love put your hat. a Jeep's reindeer coat on him and bring him in here, but no, he's kind of annoying. So <laughs> we'll leave him out there. That's awesome. He has a new dog bed for Christmas and it's like behind the tree and he knows it's for him and he's just relentless. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't even want to lay on his old bed. He's like, no, I know there's a new one. He doesn't need to pull it out. We didn't wait. We gave her the dog bed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to torture him. Okay, so we are talking today about uh, running ads on a budget. Uh, I figured everybody's talking about, you know, looking at their numbers, making sure they don't overspend, making sure you don't spend more than what you make. So I figured this would be a very good topic for December um, because, uh, number one, I actually uh, made a huge mistake, not this year, but last year. <laughs> I never really paid attention. I just kept running. I, I learned how to run reach ads. So I just kept running reach ads on every video I did. And pretty soon I was running reach ads on 28 videos. <laughs> I mean, everybody knew who I was, let me tell you. But uh, Facebook shut me down for some reason. They said I was like not obeying community standards or whatever. But um which I was fine. I'm not a naughty Facebook girl. So I don't know what that was about, but it was almost a godsend because it gave me time to like do my books. <laughs> and when I started doing my books, I was like, holy moly, $800 Facebook, $800 Facebook, $800 Facebook, $12,000 I spent in August. 12000 Yeah. Nice write-off, but not necessarily what I wanted to spend money on, you know, like I had no idea. I had no idea. So it was kind of good that Facebook shut me down because it made me kind of wake up. <laughs> so don't make that mistake, number one. And since then, I have definitely uh, been able to track better uh, because I use those things called um, set and end date. Does everybody know what that is? <laughs> yeah, you can do that on YouTube and you can do that in Ads Manager. It's, it's a blessing, you know, just set the end date. So all my end dates are set for uh, the end of each month, you know, so it starts over the end of each month. I want to make sure I don't spend, you know, too much and that I can relook at my budget for the next month and see where I need to be. So, so anyway, that is super important. Um, uh, hold on. I, I forgot to send a reminder message to my street text crew. Do you see anybody in here, um, Jonathan, or uh, I'm in my Zoom room on Tech Tuesday. I forgot to send them the link. Tuesday, y'all. Okay. www.zoomwithwindy.com. And, and the cool thing is, is that these street text guys, they like, they listen to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need a plan. Like, so street text is different. You just keep running ads and then you, you can't really pay attention. So they actually have a budget now. So we're going to talk about that too today. It's going to be pretty amazing. And I think they're sending it off to be live today for everybody that has street text. So if you don't see it, um, don't panic, it will be there. So um, 
anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and just talk a little bit about, um, about an ads budget like here. Let's go here. Joanne's going to put this in the chat too, so that you have it. Um, so basically, uh, the best, the best, which is free, right. Is, you know, uh, posting your videos and your content organically on like Facebook and Instagram reels. They get a lot of engagement, right? And it's totally for free. So, so if you wanted to super shrink down your budget, these are where you need to post. You need to do Facebook and Instagram reels, TikTok. I mean, you don't, if you don't have TikTok, do not create a TikTok account, just start doing it. But if you have a TikTok account, this is a really good place to get leads organically. I know one of our agents, um, uh, Selma, she gets 90% of her business from TikTok. But she's been posting on there regularly several times a day for like three or four years or maybe even more. You know what I mean? So it's not something like, oh, I'm going to start TikTok and I'm going to do these funny videos and then pretty soon I'm going to get all these buyers and sellers. It, it doesn't really work like that. It's it's consistency, just like anything. So uh, so Facebook and Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts get a lot of traffic. So do uh, regular YouTube videos. Uh, your followers will see them. But the YouTube Shorts get shown to way more than just your followers. So, um, so you can actually start getting a lot of followers just from your YouTube shorts. So if you're going to repurpose your content anyway, may as well make them all under 60 seconds if you want. This is my trick. I make them all under 60 seconds so I can post them on all the platforms. Sherry, you got a question? I saw something on one of the Facebook groups yesterday from a member of uh, KMC. They use um, vidyo.ai. Mm -hmm. uh, has anyone ever used that to um, it break takes, apart their video? Yeah. Has anyone yeah. ever used that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah you, you can take your long form video and cut it up. Absolutely. Uh, and just make sure when you're making your long form video, you're kind of further away. So like if you do a video like this and then you try to cut it up, mm -hmm. uh, the whole video is just literally your face. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I've tried to cut those up before uh, by sitting here at my computer uh, doing videos. And uh -huh. it works better if you're more like this. Because then when you do your, right, cutting, uh, at least you see more than just your face. So okay. anyway, but yes, very good. Bonnie, you have a question? Yeah. What do you mean by organically free? Yeah, so I mean, are you putting ads on organically? Uh, it's not really an ad; it's a post. Sorry. Um, okay, so a post on a regular Facebook page. You're not going to ad manager or anything, right? So I'm talking about okay. your personal Facebook page running okay. through a reel. You get okay. a lot of engagement through a reel. Uh, Facebook loves to share that kind of stuff. So, uh, so there's that, and then Instagram Reels. They get a you get a lot of engagement, and it's totally for free. You don't have yep. to pay for that. So you can't do it on your Facebook page. Just do a post on the front of, on it by itself without going through yeah, that. You can do it. You can, you can post wherever you want. It's free. I'm just okay. saying the real get a lot of engagement. So if you want a lot of engagement without paying money behind it, Facebook reels and Instagram reels, TikTok and YouTube shorts are really good for that. Okay. So, okay. Good. All uh, right. Thanks. You can also post to Google my business. That's free. Right. And, uh, people see that. And then obviously you can take your, um, your YouTube videos and put them into email campaigns, which is kind of cool because then all of your leads that are coming in that are on this campaign will click there and hopefully start following you. So okay. you'll get more followers just by adding those into your email campaigns, which is totally free. Okay. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. So, uh, but that's the best way to do it. You know, if you don't want to spend any money at all. Right. So, uh, but if you want to run YouTube ads, number one, YouTube ads are super cheap. <laughs> They're super cheap to run. They're a little different to run than Facebook, but super cheap. And just make sure that you set 
an end date. Like I said, I sent, I set them up for the end of the month. That way I know uh, all my ads are going to end the end of the month. So I don't have to worry about it and I can restart and restructure the next month. So, um, so that is uh, through YouTube and then ads manager for Facebook and Instagram. You can uh, definitely run your ads through there and you're going to set an end date for the end of the month on those as well. <laughs> you know, it's some, and sometimes people say, oh yeah, do this one for two weeks, do this one for three weeks. Well, that's fine. But like I said, I, I got caught up in just running all of my videos through reach for a very long time and pretty soon it ended up being a lot a lot a lot of money so uh so i set end dates for the end of each month and now through street text like i said when you set an ad budget i'm not actually pull it up so you can see what i'm talking about and um i'm really excited about this because as you guys know i'm a street text girl and and I think this is all very important. If you click on your ads, you can actually go up here, see the monthly budget. You guys will see that later today. So um, so you just click on this right here and you can put in your monthly budget and click save. And then once you... Um, I don't think it's showing anything on the screen. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. It's taking a while to load for some reason on this end. What do you mean? What? Now I see my budget. Text? Yeah. So when you click on ads, you're going to see a budget in the top of your uh, corner here. So if you set an ads budget, it's going to, it's going to show you where you're at, you know, uh, as you go through the month and it's going to project based on what I have already running. This is where I'm, this is what I'm looking at. And it looks like I'm running about $46 a day. Right. And so um, so it's going to send me an email when I reach that ad ad limit. And so I could either turn them off or keep them going, whatever, you know, whatever you decide you want to do at that time. So um, the way I'm saving a little bit of money by running these is because, number one, I already have a ton of leads. Right. So we have about eighty five thousand in our database. <laughs> Just a couple. We like to run uh, uh, lead gen ads. So I decided I'm going to focus on my ad bundles, which I have running to all of my leads in my database. We have running to everybody that's engaged with my Facebook uh, business page, everybody that's engaged with my Instagram, everybody that's watched at least 25% of my videos, uh, everybody from both of my websites. So I'm retargeting all those people. So, and I'm just running an ads bundle of a whole bunch of different kind of ads at $5 a day. So I love that because number one, it gives them variety. They're not seeing the same ad from me over and over and over, right? It rotates daily. So this is another way you can, uh, you know, just funnel your leads into here and then just run, um, you know, you can run a uh, homes list, you know, your, your Krista Mayshore videos, your, you know, free living in Las Vegas guide, you know, luxury homes for sale, um, cost of living in Henderson, like any of your videos you can run through here. You could put your reviews in here. I mean, I just love it because you could pretty much do anything you want and it's just rotating daily. So you're talking about 30 days of content, um, you know, for $5 a day. Right. So, and then you can still run your other ads. Like I do have a listing. So you'll see, um, my regular ads. This is one, this is another one that I just started last night. So we'll see how they go, but you know, so you can still run your other ones if you want, but I'm loving these ad bundles. So I also have, um, another ads bundle just going to sellers. So, um, I, you know, list and sold, I listed and sold a lot of homes this year. So I made my past listing videos into new seller lead gen videos. So basically learn how I got my seller through probate and top dollar in less than 60 days. 
learn how he sold this house for $15,000 more than the other realtor, you know, uh, how I got my seller's full renovation, no upfront expense, plus $20,000 over market value for their home sale. So I kind of told a little story about what I did for these sellers and, um, you know, made them into an ad and it's just going to the sellers that are in the database, the, that are in our database. So, um, anyway, I just think that ads bundles are genius. So, uh, so I'm going to stop share here so I can see you guys there. What do you think about all that? Isn't that a great idea? $5 a day, right? Just for rotating ads. And, you know, a lot of people are like, I don't even have that many yet. You can do weekly. You can do weekly. You can set them up like this, you know, and you can literally run them one week at a time. That way, uh, that way they can, you know, get out there. And then it's super easy just to say, add another ad, right? You just add another to the bundle. Like say, if you do a new video, boom, it goes right in there and you can move it up and down, like in the order that you want. Shelby, you have a question? That's actually what I was going to ask you. Every time I add a new ad bundle, the only way I know how to do it is I have to make all of them active again and then make a new ad bundle. Is there a way to just add new videos to the ad bundle you're already running? Yeah, yeah. So share my screen. Oops. Yep. Now you've seen my thumbnail. <laughs> now it's out. <laughs> Okay, so here's the ad bundle that I have going. So you just click right here, add more ads. See it right here at the right hand side. And then you can pick, um, you know, any of your other ads. You can click all my ads and it'll start generating a whole bunch, like mine take forever to load because I have so many. But, um, but yeah, you could pick any of those and just add them right to your bundle. Oh, that's way easier. Okay, thank you. Right? So let's let's add this. How do I attract serious offers? Add. And then, like, let's say, so I can actually see uh, where it's at. Hold on. I can see where it's at right here. See, this is the one it's at right now, today. So let's say I really like this new video and I want to move it up. So basically you just click on these arrows right here and it'll move it right up to where you want it. And then this one is going to hit everybody tomorrow. If I Linda, move Linda's asking, do you create what is in the video bundle? Uh, you can create, you can use like your own stuff, or I'll show you something even cooler. So let me get this up there because I definitely want this going out tomorrow. This is my new one. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I may have a couple. Let me have a couple in here, but that's okay. Like if you could get 30 to 60 days of content, isn't that cool? And you don't even have to worry about it anymore. It just goes. So. Did I pass it? I did not pass it. I think I'm just going so slow. I wish you could just kind of click and drag it, but that's not how it works. So we're going to click, click, click. Um, oh, maybe I did pass it. Shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll leave it right there because we're already back at the top. But um, anyway, so this right here, if you go to ads, Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong place, ads. And then you say, create a new ad. So you can click on um, video if you wanna do one of your videos and then remarketing. So this is gonna get you like what I just did. And then you're gonna be able to pick your audiences and stuff like that. So you can either do that or you can take out um, video and these are all of the retargeting ads they did just for retargeting. So there's PDF stuff, there's um, uh, Elevate, Future Home Sales Value, Present Home Maintenance, How to Stage a Home, Wondering How to Sell Your Home. Like there's so many 
ads that they already created that you literally ju just have to, I'll show you. You just go here. I'm going to select this free guide, uh, 25 insider uh, home selling tips, right? Don't miss out. I mean, they already put all the ad copy in. All you have to do is click next and it's going to use my privacy. And then I'm going to go to my audiences that I have in here. And it's going to pull all the audiences from your Facebook ads manager if you've already did retargeting. If not, uh, super easy to set up. But right here, I have, we can do street text, all 25% views watched on video. So I could do my video views right there. And then I could do uh, street text, all leads. Those are all my leads in my street text, which includes all of my follow-up boss because follow-up boss and street text sync together, right? So uh, so you have that. And then I have set up um, right here, Instagram for the last 365 days. Uh, and then Facebook the last 365 days. And then I'm going to do my website, Wendy Goss, your real estate boss. But then I have another website that says website 180. So those are all my audiences that I want to target. And then you just click next. I You could do $2 a day. Absolutely. But I have so many that I think I need to be at five. So, so I make five my uh, budget. But for people that just have a couple thousand or less, I would definitely just do two dollars a day. So you could you could have all of this set up for thirty to sixty days, just running two dollars a day. So um, I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. So anyway, yeah, you have this, and then it just does that, and then does it start over after thirty days? Uh, yeah, it'll start over your bundle. You know. So the thing is, is like after 30 days, they probably forgot that first video. So it's all about staying in front of them, right? Staying in their feed and uh, that will help you do it. So then we just made that video. Or I mean, that, that post, right? Uh, it's probably still pending. I don't know if it's going to work, but if you go to add bundles, then you can select that ad and add it to your bundle. So I've seen people set up ad bundles for 30 days just based on what street text created. So like you, you don't have to have the videos. The videos work really well. And I love it because I've been begging them to let me run video ads forever. And now they finally have them and you could do them in an ads bundle. So if you are on a budget, that is amazing. It's just amazing. So does anybody have any questions about all that good stuff. Yeah, Wendy, I, I do. Okay. How are you? Thank you for doing this. You're Everybody welcome. Give Wendy a big clap right now because she's so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so here's the question. I don't have enough leads, I'm sure, to do this with, but I think you probably do. So if, but let's say I was managing your thing and you've got a gazillion leads and you were doing leads now. I mean, you were doing, you were adding um, listing videos describing the experience. Mm -hmm. So you, let's say you've got 10 of those videos or 20 or however many you have. Um, you could create an ad, but you could put everybody, everybody from every source you've got, all of your audiences as an audience for that. Mm -hmm. And then you could, choose you you could then narrow that down by people who've watched 100 percent of the videos um based on those select videos and you could really target them yes. big time yes and the video is just to be clear that you're seeing right there is my old listing videos showing me how i marketed that house so i didn't even have to remake those videos i just remade the ad copy and the title you know what I mean? That's so I, was, I just repurposed them because I was like, oh my gosh, most of the people haven't even seen these amazing videos because my house is sold in a weekend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, we stop running ads once they sell. <laughs> and so I was like, there's the videos right there that I don't even have to recreate. 
you know, because people like to see how you market your homes, you know, so. Okay, so the, the, the question I have is when, when you're reviewing the, um, the ad bundle mm -hmm. and let's say you've got a $5 budget, how, how would you determine whether you've got so many leads on in that audience that you need to kick it up to $10? Is there a way to discern that? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know that answer. Um, is anybody on Street Text yet? Have you seen Jonathan? I got a I got a comment on that one. Okay. So the you know one of the things that um, there's a stat that you can see either in Street uh, Street Text or in the Ads Manager, and that shows you the number of number of exposures per person. There's a number there. I forget exactly what it's called. Mm -hmm. But it so you'll see how many times it's been exposed to the same people on average. And then so, you know, if it's one, then that means they've only seen it one time or if it's two or three or whatever it is. But, you know, sometimes repetition isn't so bad. So you can kind of get a sense of that. You know, one thing that I've no noticed doing retargeting ads uh, before is you know, a dollar budget goes a long way because, um, uh, you know, that day, it's like how many of those people are actually on Facebook or whatever medium and seeing your ad. So they have to be on it for it to play. So it's trying very hard to find those people. So if you say I'm going to spend five dollars a day, it's going to up the number of times that it plays it per person. But that might not be a bad thing. That's all right. So. Yeah, so I guess uh, you could definitely see how many people it's actually reaching and then go from there. Uh, sometimes I have $5 a day on there, but it doesn't even spend that. So I'm not sure why it doesn't spend the whole amount. I mean, I'm grateful that it doesn't sometimes, you know, but um, but yeah, I, I would have to ask uh, the street text guys to see because I, I don't know. All I know is that normally you can retarget like all of your Facebook people that have been on your Facebook business pa page, your Instagram, people that have followed you on Instagram, the people that have engaged with your website um, for $2 a day. Easy. So, mm -hmm. um, but because I, you know, synced my whole database in there. Uh, then I definitely think I need to spend a little bit more. I could probably do ten dollars a day and be, you know, still not hitting everybody. But my goal is just to, you know, try to be in front of people daily and something different. You know, yes, I know repeat seeing the same video over and over isn't a bad thing because you know they'll get to know, like, and trust you just because of what you're doing. But if it can be something different, that's what I love. So, so anyway, uh. Are you, is anybody here using ads bundles right now? Carrie, how's your ads bundle going? Good. Um, so I kind of am a little addicted to making videos and throwing them in my ads bundle. So I just, yes. I'm like, oh, let me make another one. Let me make another one. I think I have like 12 videos in there right now. Yeah, no, I love it because uh, you know, we always have this checklist, like if you don't have this checklist on where you should be marketing your videos, you should have one. Uh, basically, I have YouTube, straight text, Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, email and blog. So that's what I have here for all 20 videos I made this month. And I'm working through it. And it's a lot of work. But the cool thing is, is you can sit there and do your street text retargeting and get it all set up. So like I did 12 luxury videos, um, which I'm super excited about. And I was able, thank you, Herb Rim, I was able to upload my 10 luxury neighborhoods here in Las Vegas, their name, emails, phone numbers, and addresses into mojo and then mojo syncs with follow-up boss and follow-up boss syncs with street tech so guess what now i have like almost twenty thousand uh people in a luxury audience that i'm literally just building this luxury bundle for you know so thank you herb 
<laughs> freaking geniuses. You're welcome. On I that. hang out with geniuses and, and my life just explodes. So um, anyway, we will be doing a Tech Tuesday on that, by the way, in January. So I could show you how to do that because it's kind of amazing. I'm not really sure how much Bo Mojo would like hearing that because that's not how what they're supposed to be for. <laughs> but we figured yeah, it out. I wouldn't publicize that one too all that much. Don't let Mojo see that one. <laughs> yeah, we are not inviting Mojo to the call. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Whitney, uh, when you do that with Mojo, do, do you get an understanding of how many of the emails uh, do not successfully deliver? Is Are you measuring that? Is there a way to, to weed your way through those? Or is that... No. Yeah, I, I don't measure that uh, because number one, they didn't sign up for anything for me to email them or to call them. I'm literally just using them as an audience. You know, uh, some of the people in those farms, I'm already, uh, you know, sending out my, you know, luxury um, uh, real marketing report. How pretty mm -hmm. are those, right? So some of them are also getting that, right? Some of them are getting luxury books because they expired and now uh, I need to sell their home. So, you know, they're on a mailing system. Uh, we do text and email those people, uh, you know, to make sure they got our FedEx book, you know. So so there's little ways, but I'm not using it as uh, I'm going to spam the shit out of you. I want, I want them in an audience. I want to be in front of them. And then when they see something else, they're going to be like, ah. Oh, that chick on Facebook that I'm constantly seeing, you know? So and if they respond, if, if in the audience they respond, then they just become a straight lead. Got oh it. yeah. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Cool. Sherry, Jonathan. good morning. And Jonathan's in the house. <gasps> Jonathan. Okay. Hey. Sherry. I, do, I was just wondering if you could share that piece of paper that you held up. The mm. video marketing checklist. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll put that in the replay email. Okay. Are you registered to get the replay email? Okay. If not, it, do we want to probably put it in the chat? I put it in a couple yeah. times, but I'll do it again. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So that will be in there plus the PDF I was going over as far as, you know, you're running ads on a budget. I know it's nothing special, but, you know, sometimes uh, people forget where you can post things for free. So, Jonathan, good morning. Where are morning. you? Morning. How's Hi. everyone? Hi. Hi. I'm going to make you co host. Thank you. He literally hopped off a call to hop on my call. <laughs> oh, you're the best ever. Okay, so we kind of just went through um, uh, this. I'm going to share my screen really quick. Uh, we, we just kind of went through this whole um, organic way of, you know, running, it's not really running ads. It's just posting, you know, Facebook, Instagram reels, TikTok, YouTube shorts, Google, my business and email campaigns. Those are the free ways. And then I talked to them about running YouTube ads, make sure they set an end date, which I usually do at the end of each month so that I don't overspend. Uh, same with ads manager. You can set an end date for the end of the month, but then I showed them my straight text ads, uh, to where they can actually look at, uh, set their own budget here, and then they can see where they're at. They can see how much money they're spending every day. So you are, re you guys are releasing that uh, for them this week, correct? Yes, it's actually uh, as of uh, this morning. It's uh, it's live in everyone's account. Yay. Okay. So you're welcome because, uh, yeah, I told these guys, I was like, oh, I spent too much. Remember last August when I spent like $12,000 on advertising <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't realize it. Um, that wasn't your fault at all. It was me running 28 video ads full blown anyway. Um, so, so anyway, so, and then I was showing them the even better way of, ads on a budget is through the bundles. Like they can literally either take what they already have and build the bundles out to retarget, you know, all the people they're already talking to and in front of, um, or I showed them all of your different ads that you have for retargeting. So they could literally do a 30 day plan, right. With just what you guys have built. So that's where we are at. Yeah. So 
I'm not sure if you went through this at all, but yeah. So, so Wendy, thank you. So everyone thank Wendy. The reason it's out this morning is because of Wendy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we definitely want to ensure that uh, someone doesn't accidentally spend 18. And you know, Wendy, you're a goat action taker and you execute at a very high level. And I think that's awesome. But there's actually something really cool in here that uh, that is tied to it. So in the settings, if you go to my business planner, have you seen this, Wendy? No, please, please, please show me. I, okay. I missed the last half of the the um the street tags thing last week. So yeah, give me the good. Okay, well in yes, so there's so many really cool features and there's actually gonna be a bunch of stuff tied to the social stuff that you just talked about too. So we have releasing the ability you can to share turn now. Your, sorry your Facebook posts into ads. That's gonna be launching very quick here. And there, there's gonna be some more stuff too. So so many goodies come in for Christmas. Um Wendy, if you go to your settings. Do you want to share? I just allowed you to share if you want, or I could, I could do it. Yeah. If you share, I'll navigate. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, That'll work best. Okay. So settings. Yeah. I go to your settings and there's something called my business planner on the, on the right column. Yes. There you go. Have you seen this? No. No. Okay, so this is super cool. So you can now optimize for revenue or optimize for budget. So like depending what your goal is. So if you have a revenue goal over 2024, you can set how much like what your uh, your revenue goal is that you want to get from advertising. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a, uh, a budget goal. So you're like, okay, I only want to spend this much money a month, you can optimize for budget, but on the revenue goal, if you see on the um, in in those settings, you can change what your average commission or your customer value is. Oh, you, you can so adjust your conversion right here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You, you can adjust your conversion rate or your customer lead to customer rate based on what you're you're actually getting. Um, and then you can set your uh, your revenue goal. So you can say, OK, well, how much money do I want to make from my ads? <laughs> and so if you want to make a million dollars from your ads at a two percent conversion rate, you can see that you're going to be spending $37,000 annually on your advertisements. That's going to be $3,000 a month and then $100 a day. But then if you go just one column above that on your lead value, can you see your lead value right there? Yeah. It shows you that because right now you can see that on average, and this is this is taking an average of your last three months of, of cost per lead. So we average that and we're going to, and that's going to always follow it. So this, these numbers are dynamic. So they're adjusting in real time. So you can see, so you'll always know, like, am I on track to hit my goals or I'm off track, but under your lead value, you can see like right now you're, you got an average of $6 and 73 cents per lead, but your value based on your, on your average, um, com like your, your customer value and your conversion rate, your value per lead is actually $300. Because if you're converting at at uh, three percent, that's how much money that's that leads actually worth to you. So your profit for each one is two ninety four. And then Chase, he posted that thing in the insider group, which I thought was really cool, where he showed his um, he calculated like how much each contact attempt was, because he he knows like takes like for him or whatever how many contact attempts it is. And I think he so he figured out exactly how much each contact attempt is worth. And that's really motivating because if you know that you're making money every single time you send that postcard or you send you you send the text message or you reach out or you make the call, it's it's really cool. And then obviously if you hire an ISA, you can you can start to see what that profit ratio is and you start to really manage it as a business. That's awesome. Yeah, so very awesome. Budget. Let's look at budget. And so the budget one's the opposite. So you're starting with your customer value. You've got your your lead. Uh, you get your conversion rate, but then you're going to set your. Um, you see um, below projected spend. Mm, okay. You can see like how much money do I want to spend a month, and you can set that number to whatever you feel comfortable spending. So if you want to spend, let's say five hundred dollars a month or less, you can see what your projected, uh, you can see what your projected revenue goal oh, from advertising will be. Reversed. Yes, as long as you, um, yeah, so if you if you keep generating the leads at the same value and you're converting them, that's what your projected uh, take home from advertising will be at that conversion rate. So I'll, I'll be making a million dollars if I stick to my 2000 budget and as long as I convert 3%. Exactly, now if you go back to your ads, Oh my gosh, Jonathan is making me smart. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, okay, go back to my. No, it's the team. It's the team who built this. It's really cool. And then if you go back to your ads, this will actually adjust your uh, monthly budget on the budget bar. Right here. And then it's gonna, yeah. So you can see the budget will adjust to whatever you set. So if you if you use the revenue goal, it will adjust your budget accordingly. Or if you set it to the budget, and then you can start to make adjustments. And so you can say, okay, I'm, is my spend within range, based on what my goals are for the year. And we have a bunch of really cool stuff that will be rolling out this year around this tool to help um, make it so much easier to stay on track, but also to to improve that cost per lead and to forecast better in the year. So because it's one thing to set a goal, it's another thing to have a system that ensures you're on on top of that goal throughout the year. I don't know if anyone who, who's ever set a goal leads, 174 Pardon? leads. So I just clicked back to November. So this is how much I spent and I got 174 leads, 524 leads. I spent a little bit more. See, see why we need a budget. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, you generate a lot of leads a month. That's really impressive. Um, but that's, that's good. You, you obviously stay on top of your goals. That's good. But who, who here has ever set a goal and then forgot about the goal? <clears throat> you know, you just get into, you get into <clears throat> business. Yeah. I've, I've done it all. Everybody time. should be raising their hand because we all forget about the goals. That's why we're trying to do 12 week year. So and this we is, have three months to think about it. Yes. And this is where systems help, right? Cause if you have yeah. a system that's that you've set the goal and now that's built into the system, that makes it so much easier to say, okay, what was my goal? What's my target? Am I on track? It's just very helpful. Uh, yeah. Cause we've all okay. been there. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Okay. I don't know if Linnea has seen that, but she's going to love that. She's a numbers girl. So yes, um, very cool. Um, okay. So let's talk about the other good stuff that you have going on. You said that you have a lot of new stuff coming out for Christmas. Um, yeah, we have, we've had a ton of stuff. So if you go to, um, here, I'll pull it up. You'll pull it up. Okay. So, so I'm I want to tell you my struggle yesterday. Yes, I am a tech girl and I still have struggles. Um, I decided I'm going to schedule content to post, just post, not run an ad, through Meta, right? Because I still need it posted to my business page and to my Instagram page, right? But I, I did 20 videos. I don't want to post them all in one day because nobody is going to like that. And I went into Meta and it said my video has uploaded 5% and that was like for an hour and a half. And, and when I pressed refresh to try to kick it into high gear, everything went away that I worked on. So did you say something about content scheduling? <laughs> Is that something we're going to have in the street tech? That would be amazing too. No, but it would be amazing. I would use it as well. The, uh, it's, we yeah no but what we're going to do is we're going to really tie close to the social content because uh obviously social marketing is uh, a huge thing right and then if you can take your social posts and convert them into ads the ones that are working and we're mm -hmm. going to make it so it's really easy to find and sort your content based on engagement and then you can take the ones that's got great engagement and ensure they're being seen in a consistent fashion through remarketing because otherwise the problem is is that you post something on facebook or instagram and it's great for a couple days and then it kind of goes down the algorithm, uh, but this way it kind of, it brings it back to life. And then the other thing is, um, well, I won't get too much into it, but if you go to, if you go back to the sharing, um, there's a bunch of new things that we've just dropped. And then we have a bunch of stuff that's coming out. So um, I'll, I'll go through what I've like first. So if you go to your uh, launch ads, if you click launch ads to the funnels page. Can you see my screen? Oh, yes. there you are. I couldn't see you guys, <laughs> so I was like, I think I lost them. Okay. So we have this new button that's just live, and it's called customize. And oh, what I saw that. I saw yes. That. And so what that means is, so every every ad on Street Text is uh, is ranked. So it's been tested. We know it works. It's proven. The metrics are calculated month after month. And so you can always say, okay, well, which is the ad that's performing best in the market today? So what we've done though, is we've given you the ability to customize. So if you, if you wanna customize an ad, let's say you have your own custom verbiage you wanna run, you want, or you wanna start with it, but you wanna play around with it. You've got a different angle you wanna try uh, and be creative. You can now customize the template, but what it'll do is it'll actually save it as a completely unique ad type 
so that it won't interfere with the existing stats and it'll track the stats separately. So that way you know that the that the ads on here will continue to uh, track true to what they're um, what they're like what's actually working, but then it gives you the freedom to play around. And then we have another update that's going to be coming live very, very soon this week, um, which is uh, an AI tied into it. So, Wendy, you missed this. I'm really excited for you to see this, but it's um, yay. Yeah, it's, it's going to help cool. me figure out what to say for ad copy. <laughs> it's going to it's it's very cool. It's going to help you figure out what to say, but it's going to it's going to take what works, but then it's going to allow you to customize each field individually or as every um, one of them. And you can kind of mix and match and so you can figure out what the perfect ad copy is that you want to run. That way you can always create something that's really unique to you or your market. And then um, so that's that's coming out pretty quick. If you go to the contacts page. OK. I may have a lot of contacts. <laughs> yeah, and as, as you do this as well. So you may have noticed this as well on the notification emails that send out. We've now added, as of this week, three new fields. So every time you get a new contact notification, it shows you which ad they came from, the name of that ad, the ID of the ad, and which automation they're associated with. Because that's been something that people have been asking for, and now it's it's in those emails, which is really helpful. So yeah, if you click on anybody, it doesn't matter who it is. Or if you open them, like click on their yeah, the profile. Yeah, these ones just came in. So should I be finding one that's oh it doesn't um, matter. That's eight? fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what we have there on the top of the bar is we have two new two searches. So we have a Facebook search and a Google search. And this just makes it like it just kind of speeds up your time. So if you are a VA or someone else is in here and they're just trying to like research somebody. It starts the search for you, and then on Facebook you can filter it down so you can enter the city if there's any like if there's work relation like you know any information you might have over about them that you might want to like help filter down that person by, but that will just help you find them a lot faster. And then on the That's Google search, cool. yeah, the Google search does the same thing, but obviously Google is just a really good way of of uh, this one didn't work, but the. Uh, it's a really good way of verifying, okay, are they who they say they are? But then also it's a really powerful research tool because Google has got like everything. I bet you that that one would work, but maybe there was something about that search. But we we passed everything. We passed the email, I think the phone number as well, if we have it, um, and then the name. And I think it's probably his name because it looks like he's entered his first name twice. So that could be oh, yeah. what's throwing off that search. So that's right. cool. Now we're also, when you find them, we have another release coming, which is going to be the ability to save their Facebook profile to street text. So it's going to be oh. like a, really, yes, a really quick, like one click button. But the best part about it is as soon as you save their Facebook profile, there's going to be a one click Facebook message button that'll show up. So you'll actually be able to click it and it'll open up Facebook Messenger and you'll be able to message them directly which is going to be really, really powerful and say like time saving. Again, this is something if like you could be doing it yourself or if you have a VA or an ISA, it's just a really powerful way. Like you build it into your systems. You just quit make that quick reminder of how they met you introduction. So there's there's so many new features and I, I haven't even named them all, but like there's a lot of stuff coming out. Hi, this Christmas. There, there she is. I was I was using you, Joanna. So I clicked that Google search. Yeah, I don't think she's on Google, but definitely found her Facebook. So that's cool. And then yeah, what, what is those this? Those little time right savers. Here? What are these? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. deal completed. So this is, oh, okay. This is super cool. Okay, so this has not yet released, but it will be releasing before Christmas. Um, When Facebook sends you uh like when you get a lead from facebook they obviously you use conversion data to improve the quality of lead and you know that if you're running um and this is one of the challenges of running let's say like a traffic ad a traffic ad your op, uh, facebook's going to optimize for the click it doesn't optimize for the conversion and so if you use conversion ads it's better because you can say i want a person who's filled out all the forms or they've taken this next step what Facebook's doing now is they're working with us to track off-site data. So when you make a new deal and you click that, yeah, I won that deal, 
we're mm-hmm. actually going to send that data back to Facebook and we're going to start training Meta on the people that of your leads that actually did a deal. So Facebook says, okay, we actually want to find more people like those ones, not oh. the ones who filled out the forms, but the ones who actually made like, like did the deal. And so that's getting released this week. And uh, so that's going to be a huge, huge update. So when so we you- should go through here and click that for every person we closed a house on. Once it's released. Yeah. So it'll be released very okay. shortly and you'll know it is because there'll be a little pixel icon that'll show up with the win, which basically means that not only was it like a win that you've recorded, but that data has been sent back to Meta. And then that telling them, it's training them, it's using the AI algorithms to train their AI to say, we want to find more and more people. And it was actually going to train each ad account individually. So it's going to, so basically as your, um, as your, your systems get better at converting the leads, that will have a double impact because Meta will now know exactly who do you want to pull from Instagram, Facebook, Messenger into the ads. And so that's it's that's very cool. That's very exciting. So yes, that's what you see there. And that's the start of it. I like that. Okay. I see the present in the snowman. Yeah, those are local. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Okay, very good. No, I love it. All right. Is everybody like super excited about this? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say street text and what Jonathan's talking about, Joanne, can you put the street text link in the chat? You can get a free seven day trial to check it out. Um, and, uh, and you literally could start running ads today and leads to start pouring in. I find so many people I've helped them get set up and start running them and they turn them off two days later because they're so overwhelmed. They don't, they don't know what to do with all the leads. (laughs) <laughs> who wants that problem <laughs> right doesn't everybody want that problem I know and I'm like okay well don't turn them off they're doing good <laughs> like I hate turning off as that's probably why we're having this class because yeah I never turn them off but now I do I'm really good and the ads bundle has saved <laughs> saved me just because I can literally do everything I want um without you know spending so much money. I was spending so much money. Sherry, did you have a question? Sherry Berry? No? She's gone. Kimbro, good morning. I have a question. Um, so I'm not familiar with street text, so I'm going to look at it today and see what the opportunities are. So with your recommendation, what would be like the first video to put out there or for, for your first advertisement to get things generated? being someone who is starting completely over uh, completely over what do you mean completely over so- um so i was with remax i okay. left remax for several years to work for new construction and so i was with dr horton for several years and then decided to go back to remax and so i'm in a whole different city town so i'm starting completely over as far as generating Ooh, this it's is very the best fighting fight. Yeah, this is the best place for you to be. You can literally move to a totally different city and not know anybody and run. What's your home really worth that? Like, what's your home really run. worth? Yeah, what's your home really worth that? That's my favorite, favorite. And all you have to do is have a map of where you live. And it it actually, like, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay. And then, like lists of properties are always really good to run. Um, if you go to here, create ad, and then we're going to find the, what's your home really worth? Cause it's my favorite. And I know there's other ones. Downsizing works really good in some areas. Um, but I like the full on people that say, I want to know what my home is worth. Right. So you just select map image here. And then I, usually do like terrain to make it a little more colorful people like this and then it stops the scroll they're like oh wait that's where i live i'm gonna stop i'm gonna press it and i'm going to um i'm going to ask you know or put my address in so then you just click on like las vegas or where you're at i do a 50 mile radius because we work all over clark county right and then but you could do a 15 mile. You could definitely do a 15 mile if you don't want to, you know, drive all over town. And then next, $7, three split test, add Instagram. I'm going to keep that at 10, deploy. 
That is it. That is literally it. And it has a nine month funnel attached to it. Wow. Okay. You can, you can humanize and I do encourage you to humanize the funnel. You can pop your videos in there. It does uh, work with bomb bomb. Uh, if you guys have bomb bomb, but, uh, but yeah, you can pop videos in there, make it a little bit better, tweak the text that goes out to make it sound a little more human. Like I always add awesome in mine because that's how I talk. Um, but, but yeah, and then that is it. And then this right here, if you go to my ads, which it's still processing, but this is what it looks like. And then you click on edit automation and you only have to edit this seller funnel once. And it's going to add it to all of your different, cause I think they have like, I don't know, five or six seller ads now, right? Uh, including the retargeting or whatever. And this this same one will go on all of them. So, yep. um, so anyway, you just go in here and you can edit the uh, emails. You can go all the way down here, edit the text and, you know, make it your own. But yep, that's your seller one. How easy to run is that, right? And then the buyer or the, um, yeah, the buyer list. That's my second favorite one to do. You just click create ad. And, and then the, the one that works very, very well right here. If you don't have listings, if you have listings, mm -hmm. you want this one, right? This one is going to bring you a ton of leads. If you want, if you don't have listings, say, see all available pool homes in Las Vegas. And then you put a pool home picture in there and you put a link to all the pool homes in Las Vegas and bam, done. You know, so, so whatever anybody's looking for in your area, like ocean view homes or single story homes, or, you know, homes with strip view, like whatever you want, you can make this your little thing. And then when they come in, uh, they automatically get that link. You can set them up on a search column, send a video text, whatever. And yeah, super easy to get leads from here. Wow. Yeah, you can play around too. Like, um, every, uh, I know that people are are doing a quick little screen video of the Google Earth, so they're they're zooming out of the the you know the address, and then they're zooming in, or they're just just kind of moving it over the area, mm -hmm. and then that takes the map, but it turns it into a small video, and they're running that as the the home value ad right now, and it's doing really really well, and uh, so that one's performing really great. So if you haven't done that yet, and you're running the home value ad, I highly recommend trying it against your best performing ad and it's it's just working really good it's getting good cost per lead so uh it, and it's again it's just like what wendy said it's it's familiar it stops the scroll people recognize where they live it's kind of like um uh some uh like in our in our city we have this uh uh community of people who really love like the historical photos so it's like what did the city look like 100 years ago what did the air and it's the same thing. It's like people see that it stops the scroll. They just kind of look at it. They're curious. And then if it's relevant to them because they're thinking about selling or buying, they'll click it, put the information in, and then they engage that way. And so it's it's mm -hmm. about it's about keeping things. Um, yeah, it's all about offering something that that's uh, capturing that that attention in the moment. And then obviously you can use those different offers. But then the powerful part, which is what Wendy does is that you take that and you build that into the flow for your remarketing and your remarketing is now introducing yourself so you have videos about yourself maybe you're doing a home tour maybe you're teaching them about how to you know what's the best way to uh, prepare a home during over the holidays what's the best way to you know what's good curb appeal you know all the things like what do you want to look for maybe it's like 12 questions you never knew you needed to ask as a home buyer or or 12 questions you never knew you needed to ask if you're a luxury seller and it's those it's just educating and keeping them engaged but you know that the audience you're showing them to is the same audience that clicked on your other funnel so they're people who are active in market and so you're not only going to get the people that are they're raising their hands immediately you're taking them and you're building that know like and trust and that loyalty even you can even do it with your existing clients or your past clients and it's just it's going to increase that uh, the number of clients that are now choosing to work with you and the ones who continue to choose to work with you simply because you're front and center, you're top of mind. So it's, it's a very, it's a simple strategy, but it's very effective. And uh, it's more of making sure that the mechanics of it is easy because otherwise that's where 
it can kind of feel a little overwhelming. Okay, real quick, because I got to get to the VIP room, Darcy and then Michelle. Question? Uh, yes. So I guess my, so this is, this is like a, like an actual funnel and you just build all the follow up stuff into it. So does it almost take place of like the funnels that we have kind of been wanting to do? Is that Right. So uh, it's kind of like that, but on steroids. Okay. Because there's a lot of different things you can do. Like you can run, you know, uh, property lists and stuff like that. That's, you know, so the thing is, is um, I was with Street Text before I was with Chris to make sure. So um, I fell in love with this system, but I fell in love with Krista because she helped me make my videos better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And Street Text made my life easier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I say. see. So, but, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Krista has amazing funnels. Like uh, definitely if you're all set up to use those, use those. This is just another option. Uh, cause there's a lot of people that don't, you know, have Krista Mayshore. So, but this is a good option even before you can set up Krista Mayshore. Her, her stuff requires a lot of work to set it up. Whereas street text has got a lot of that done in their already. version. So yeah. the, what is it? Nine month funnel that you're, you mentioned from time to time. Yeah. Um, you can literally do the seller ad and not change the funnel and it just starts, you know, and it, it's still good. When I first started with street text, we got so many leads and I didn't change my funnel for a couple months. And then it took me a couple months to like, you know, as I did a video, I would add it into the funnel. So like, I didn't do it all in one day. <laughs> yeah. Heck no. So anyway, uh, that should give Think you of them as separate muscle groups and both of them work real well independently and they're very complimentary too. Yes. So just, just... Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And the fact that, uh, cause street text didn't always run reach ads for videos, right? So it just used to be their ads that they built. So now they've opened it up to video, which has opened up my life and yours too, because uh, it's super easy. Like I never want to like deal with ads manager again. I love, 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 love the platform. Michelle, good morning. Okay. I, you don't have to really um, go into this if you do this, but I'm wondering on the, what's your home worth? Do you, do you do, what do you, how do you respond to that? Do you, do you give them a CMA? Do you, what do you Yeah, want? so basically a text and an email goes out to them automatically right. saying, I got your request for your home valuation and we are on it, right? And then I have a little video that goes out uh, talking about what we're doing in the background, right? So, um, but if you don't have a video, it still goes out. Right. They still know you're on it. And then, yes, we personally go in and run a CMA I pull up ZillowRealtor.com and Redfin. We have a little email that we put together for that. That's the only thing that happens outside of the street text funnel because it has to manually be done. And we do that through follow-up boss. Uh, but you could do it through any CRM. So if and you then, do that manually, does it shut off? Uh, what's her name? Julie? Uh, if they respond to Julie, that's what shuts her off. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the funnel never shuts off unless you manually turn it off. Yeah. yeah so, so Julie's designed to, to initiate the conversation, to start it. But once that conversation started, it's, it's okay, now let's, uh, that's where the handoff happens. So it's, you can jump in or persistent. But um, that's, a, that's a really good um, question, I think, as well, because who here has HomeBot? Does, anyone, does everyone have HomeBot? Yeah, lots of hands. So HomeBot's a great tool. So if, you, if you're already using HomeBot, it's a really powerful thing. So if you get somebody from your, uh, you know, requesting a home value, add them to HomeBot. You can obviously adjust the value based on the CMA you did uh, for the initial one. And then that obviously is a really complimentary system as well, because now they have those monthly reports going to them and it just works really well. And then you also get that activity feed within HomeBot. So you can look at the activity and you can see who's taking action and that can help prioritize who you're going to reach out to. And you can see like, oh, this person's really engaging. I should probably have a conversation. And you can even make it part of your Christmas drop-offs or whatever. Right. 
Yep. Yeah. So, so you could do, you know, they get a text and an email and then you send out that email. You can also do a CMA drop off that you're learning from Krista, uh, you know, uh, cause that, that is a game changer right there. And then the, and then the funnel just continues, you know, and then you're all obviously going to make a phone call, but I like to make a warm phone call after they get the email, after they get the CMA drop off, then we call, you know, Hey, I just want to make sure you got all this, you know, do you have any questions? Do you want to, uh, you know, book a time for me to come check out your home and answer any questions you might have? And, and if they don't answer, guess what? That's a video text that goes out. <laughs> what's your favorite so, ad? My favorite ad is what's your home really worth? What's my bad? <laughs> I know, I know. And they've came out with so many more cool ones and I'm still stuck on the other one because it just, it seems to work well with my flow, but I have to hop into the VIP room. So, um, thank, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, let me know if you need any more help. Joanna put all the links in there, I think, uh, uh, to, you know, hop on if you need more help and thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate hey, you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I can't it's wait to check out everything. Yeah. All right. Have a good day guys. Bye. Bye.